guys, Cindy Utter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Um, this is just a piece of scrap paper that I had on my desk. I was using it to glue um, stuff with. And I went to Michael's today and I found these woodless um, pencils. And they were only like $2.49, I want to say. And they're by Artist Loft. And I just kind of got intrigued because it's the first time I've seen um, woodless pencils other than um, the Arteza, A-R-T-E-Z-A -E brand. And I was just, you know, for $2.48, I had to pick them up because I really want to see what the difference is between these and the Artezas or Artezas. So what I'm going to do... I am just going to cut this off, maybe. My fingers aren't working well today, they're cold. I should say tonight, it's it's later on in the evening. Um, Hubs and I went out all day today, we were wandering. Had an appointment with the attorney, that kind of stuff. So I got all that done. And of course, you know, right there is the Michaels, so I had to check it out. All right, so here's their pens. Now, the, again, this is Artist Law. So what I'm gonna do, um, here's a light blue. Um, it's more of this, that's more of a pink. Let's see, light blue. That purple's more of a light purple. Doo -doo. There's a purple. Uh, what's this orange? There's an orange. There's a pink, and I need a darker green, which has got to be this one. That's as dark as I get. Oh, no, this one. There we go. All right, so like I said, these are the Artezas, and I really like these watercolor pencils. Um, they're woodless watercolor, but I really want to see what the difference is. So this is Artist Loft. I just noticed my pen's bent weird. Um, and this is the Arteza. All right, so let's start with the purple. This is the purple. And what I wanna do is I wanna see, first of all, how easy it lays down. Pretty good, okay. Here's the Arteza. Okay, I can tell you right now, just in the beginning, look at the difference in the pigment between this one and this one. See the difference in the pigment? There's a lot more pigment in this than there is in this. All right, so that's the first one. And we'll wet, I'll wet them all toward the end. Um, let's see, this is the blue, the light blue. This is the Artist Loft. cool and this is the Arteza now see to me it looks like this one has more pigment but we'll see once we get them wet let's put that one back oh I didn't get a red do I have a red that'll match that looks like this is the closest I'm gonna get is this red so let's do the red Come on. Okay, this is the Artist Loft Red. And here's the Arteza Red. A little bit different color red, but we get the same idea. Alright, and then we've got pink. This is the pink. And here's the pink. I probably should have put these together, but that's all right. And the orange. I'm going to do the green. Let's do this orange first. Then the orange. Now I'm using pretty much the same. Um, amount of you know strength or pressure 
to put these colors down. There's the Artist Loft, and then there's the Arteza. So, I mean, it's all pretty much the same. All right, so let's look at these. Still got glue on it, it's sticking somewhere. Look at this piece of tape. All right, so here's our purple. Okay, here's our purple, a lot more pigment. Again, this is just a piece of craft paper, so, you know, it's may not be the best for doing this. I probably should do it on a watercolor paper. Now, see, that I don't like. That doesn't really blend out where the Arteza does. Okay, let's look at the red. red. I mean you can see such a difference in the colors. The pink, and I'm going to hold them side by side here in a minute. Not a whole lot. The pink. The orange. The orange. Yeah. Now um, one of the reasons I wanted to do this is because Arteza is a very, um, very reasonable company to get your supplies from. So let's see. Let's look at this one on one. So here's the purple. I say the one on the right. Here's the blue. Again, I'm going to go with the Arteza. The reds, Arteza. The pink, Arteza, orange, absolutely Arteza, and green, absolutely Arteza. Now, does that mean that I don't like these? No. Um, these I probably would use. Let me try another piece of paper. Let's take, um, here I sit in a studio with how many pieces of paper? Do you think I can find one when I want one? No! I want to take a piece of watercolor paper. Let me grab that. I'll be right back. All right, so this is a piece of watercolor paper. It's got something on it, but that's all right. So here's our two pinks again. You know, um, would I use these? Probably. I don't see any reason why I wouldn't. Um, I just feel that the art the Arteza um, has a lot more pigment in them and the price on the Arteza is not bad at all. See it's not bad it's just not I like the pigment more on this. See I can get more of a this pretty much stays and doesn't really go far. See the difference in that? It's almost like um, these, the Artist Loft, are um, a harder, not as soft as the Artezas. And the Artezas, like I said, I, I love the fact that um, they're so pigmented. I want to do the same thing here. I'm just going to put down the same amount of ink and see where we can move it. Um, See again, this is not moving a whole lot. Do I, I get a little bit of a green, you know, around the edges, but you can still see exactly where I've colored it. Now, if I go with the Arteza, I can put green a lot of places. You know, look at that green that's still coming up. Okay, so um, you know. When uh, what is that saying? You you pay, you get what you pay for. Um, do we get what we pay for on this? Absolutely. Now the Arteza, I'll have to look, and I, if I remember, hopefully I'll put a link in the description box below. Um, but these are not that expensive. I know they're not. Um, like I said, these were two dollars and forty nine cents. Will I use them? Mm, probably, maybe. Um, would I buy them again? No. I would save up my 249s until I got the Arteza brand because they have such a better pigment and and they're they they seem to be um, 
how do I say it, a more of a softer blend. Um, you know, even just blending them together. I don't know why I want purple and green, but let's try purple and pink. Um, you know, by blending them together, they just, they're very smooth at it. A little bit more purple right here. And they're just, they're really able to blend. So there you go. All right, I just wanted to, you know, I was, I got these today and I wanted to do a little play with them and see what I thought of them. And, and you know, that's my honest opinion. Would I buy them again? Probably not. Will they work in a pinch? Yeah, they'd work in a pinch. Um, if you're interested in the woodless uh, watercolors, I definitely would go with the Arteza, though. And that's just, you know, they haven't sent me any product, none of that stuff. I just, I can see by the results, I like these, and I use these quite often. So, just a little quick, there you have it. All right, and if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them in the uh, box below. As always, don't forget to, um, oh, what's the word? Subscribe, <laughs> share, uh, thumbs up, all that good, happy stuff. All right. As always, have fun. That's what life's all about. Happy creating, and I'll talk to you again. Bye.